Hey everybody, welcome to Windy Hill Kennel. Today is the 23rd of October and it is a cold one. We woke up to snow white grass from frost. All my flowers are now dead or they're dying and uh, it's cold. I'm not ready for winter. I hope it's an El Nino easy winter. I know we have to get rid of bugs, but I'd like to have a nice winter. So we're downstairs today with Fiona's kids. Um, these guys are so babyfied from their mom. By, they'll be four weeks old tomorrow, and normally they're everywhere. But she lays with them all day and babies them like a mother hen. And we still have the noisy guy. He will quit this. This is just, it's, I, I don't want to say typical because they don't all do it, but there's always one obnoxious child in the litter when they're little till they're a little bigger and they realize the world's not going to kill them. I know, and this way mommy protects you too much, doesn't she? She says, oh, don't touch me. He says, don't touch me. So we're gonna start on this end and go this way. So we aren't so noisy when we get on this end. Um, these guys have had a couple baths. They've had their toenails trimmed. Uh, they are on the floor completely with mom, but literally they don't walk away from the feeder. Shh, cover your eyes up. It's really not happening. Um, they are nibbling dog food, so we've got them on Tiny Bite so that they can eat that with no problem. Are you having a bad day? It'll be all right. Cover your eyes up and you'll be fine. Okay, you're winding down. Good job. Wind down. There you go. I'm going to let go. See that? Hide those eyes. <laughs> oh, no. Um... Everybody's doing really good. I just um, I just wanted to get up and start running around. I figure this next week they'll really turn it on. Oh, don't don't get up. It just makes things worse because you have to hide your face. Here, hide your brother's face. There, there, there we go. We just he just needs to not see the world right now. Um, coats are great on these guys. They're doing everything they should do at this age, except I want them to play more. But that's going to come with age. Um, yeah, they're dreaming. This one's dreaming. This, yeah, they're all dreaming. Just like, uh, what are those little pop candies that pop, pop, pop? When they dream, they kind of pop, pop, pop. They jump when they dream. Um, they're going to, uh, at four weeks old, well, they're going to get another worming on their four-week birthday. Um... They've started on food. We have not started them on cottage cheese. We'll probably do that this week. And um, other than that, we're just waiting on them to get up, get active, get playful. Um, next week, we're not doing table. I mean, they're old enough that, um, why don't we get Leroy down here to where he's not afraid of the world? Um, he'll be much better. And usually that three to four week period, there's a fear of flight stage when the world's new, my eyes are open, I'm scared to death of everything that I see, and uh, that does subside and go away. So don't panic if you are looking for a male. He does, he will change, I promise you. Um, so we're gonna get started. I'm gonna check eye color for you. We're going to do microchip numbers. I'm probably gonna call the first person on the list after today and say, hey, do you know which one you want? Because I know the people on down the list are like anxious to do this. Uh, I've already gotten one call, then somebody says, how long does it take for that first person to take a pic? And I said, well, we haven't done new videos yet, so just be patient. Um, all right, we're going to start down here, here on this end where they're sleeping and work our way towards the noisy guy. Are you going to wake up? I don't want to scare you. What do you think? Are you waking up? I know I see you. This is a female. Um, I love her color. She's got such pretty color, such pretty markings. She's got super nice coat, just really, really thick coats coming. Let me see her peepers. Oh, you got dark eyes, don't you? No blues, no blues. So she's gonna have dark eyes, not gonna be blue. Uh, whoop, <laughs> you're all right, stay there. So she is, um, nose will fill in and not be black. Did I scare you when I touched your nose there? That's better. And her microchip number is 8928. All right, Munchkin, let's see what you weigh today. She is one pound, 8.6. 
They look bigger than they are because they've got so much hair. But nice coat, big white collar around her neck. They've got really just lovely, lovely coats. All right, I'm gonna set you back down here. I'm gonna swipe your other sister. I'll scoot you in there. She, you got it warm underneath of you, didn't you? This is a little black and white female. I gotta keep track of where they move because they don't have collars on yet. <laughs> she's got really nice markings down her back. And she's the one that has a little blaze on her face. I think the other one does not. I can't see her face from here. But um, she's got a really nice coat. She says, I'm not used to touching my head. We don't mess with them a whole lot, like pick them up and pet them and, and love on them. We're starting to do that because you can see she's a little bit, oh, like, don't touch me. Um, if you mess with them too much when they're little, mom kind of decides that if you want to mess with them, then you take care of them. So we try not to do that until about the fourth week. Then they start to get a little bit more riled up. We do a lot more with them. But right now they're still mommy's babies, so we really don't mess with them a whole lot. All right, let's see what your microchip is. 8927 is her microchip. And you are one pound, 12 ounces on the button. All right, let me scrunch you in over here. There you go. I'm gonna move you only because you worry me. You're out there on that front edge. This is another female. Well, this one says I'm going to turn around. Let me see what you've got. Oh, and by the way, the black one has black eyes, no blue eyes. Hi, right, pumpkin. Let me see your peepers. Nope, no blue eyes. Okay, no blue eyes. She's got really pretty markings on her face. She's got nice black definition all around her eyes. She's got really pretty markings on her back. She says, what are we doing? Huh? Got a little bit of dark right at the top of her tail. She's got a little bit of black right underneath that coat. If you ever shave them down, oh, they'll have spots everywhere because of the merling on them. All right, sit down, sweetie. She's one pound, 12 ounces also. And let me give you her microchip number. 8995 is her chip number. All right, I'm gonna stick you on the end and I'm gonna do you next because you're kind of next in line. I'll scrunch these guys down. Ah, oh, he turned over. And he's actually looking around. Oh, he says, where am I? Changed my mind. This one is a female. Um, she is probably the lightest coat in here. She's got predominantly white down her back. Got a little bit of gray under here. Got a little bit of gray and a little tiny fleck of black at the top of her tail. She's got nice markings around her face. Let me see your peepers. Nope, no blue eyes. No blue eyes, I don't think so. I don't think so. No blue eyes on this one. And I did your chip, I'm pretty sure. Yep, no I didn't. 8933 is her microchip number. Okay, Munchkin, let's see what you weigh. I figure her mother would be up there having a cow. 11.8 is her weight today. Okay, now I got a black one in here. We must have the two blue mer the males down here on this end. All right, so this is the female. And I just saw brown in her ears. I thought I did. No, I don't. Must have just been the way the light was. No, don't you turn around. You're not coming. Don't, don't cry. You're not coming my way. 8930 is her microchip number. And she does not have blue eyes. She's got really pretty markings on her back. Give me your legs so you don't fall. There you go. And I think her tail is, yeah, tails. Are you gonna stand on your siblings? All white. And you don't have the blaze. Yep, this is the one that didn't. This is the one that has the blaze. I know, I hear you, buddy. I'm gonna turn you around, whether you like it or not. There you go. All right, so she is one pound, 12 ounces. We have a lot of one pound, 12 ounces in here. They really pretty much are all even Steven on their uh, size. This is 89.30. All right, now for the boys. Okay, I'm leaving you till last. I don't even wanna deal with that. I don't wanna deal with that. But this better be a boy. It is a boy, you've got boy plumbing. I see it. Yes, you do. You see your peepers. Mm, I don't know who you saw blue, but I haven't seen blue yet. 
No blue on this one that I can tell. So we are 89.40. Really pretty coat on this guy. They all have lovely, lovely thick coats. I know, and the pixie little faces. This one has a little bit of gray on the tail. Listen, we get, I know, I know. Hide your face, hide your face. Okay, hide your face, there you go. Are you ready? Come on, let go. You okay now? All right, you're over it. All right, so this one is one pound, 8.8. .8. I know, but I don't know why you're turning to me and I think I did ship number. Yeah, 89.40. Okay, uh, here we go. Here we go, buddy. Our turn. Hide your face. I know. You are just, I bet if any of, if, I bet if any of you have a dog at home, it's now rushed to the TV screen and it's on its feet looking at the screen going, Who's dying on the TV? This is 89.29. I know, it's a really tough day. We're just gonna do this, buddy. Yeah, we're just gonna do this. This guy's got really nice markings on his back. You're not gonna fall. I gotcha, I promise. Hi, your eyes, hide your eyes. Hide your eyes. Hide your eyes. Oh, come on, baby. <laughs> All right, we're gonna weigh you, bud. You just well do it. You're gonna survive. One pound thirteen four. Oh my goodness. And I started to look at eye color. No blue. Okay, I'm gonna hide you. I'm gonna hide you. Right here, here we go. Look there, there, oh, we're back in the pack. Oh, it's over with. See, you survived, oh my goodness. I see you peeking at me. Yes, I do, I see you peeking. So anyway, now that, we have to think of a name for you. I don't know what we're gonna call you, but now that he, our troublemaker, is back in the stack. Here, hide your eyes, Waldo. There you go. What's their game? Where's Waldo? Okay, this is Waldo. <laughs> Where's Waldo? He's hiding under a brother or a sister. Uh, so if you have any questions about these guys, please give me a call. Um, I'm probably going to call the first person on the list uh, sometime, probably this evening or tomorrow, after you have a chance to look at these guys. Um, I won't be putting pictures on until about uh, probably five weeks, five and a half weeks, somewhere in that ballpark. Um, where are you going? <laughs> Got one going one way and one going the other. Are you looking around? Are you laying out there looking around? I can catch your back. Hey, Waldo. <coughs> I hear you. <coughs> I hear you, Grunt. I know it. What do you think, Waldo? Oh, your head's up. Can you put your head up there? Oh, I know it. But you're doing such a good job. Yes, I know. It's just a really a thing, isn't it? Yeah. I think you're coming in and watch TV with me for a night for a while tonight in the chair, so we get you over this screaming. Once you get another week under your belt, you should be good. But right now you're a real you're a real stinker. All right, I'm going to get out of here. We got more to do. And uh, so if you have questions, call me. I hope you have a really fantastic week. And um, hopefully the weather warms up, I hope. I'm having a cookout on the 4th of November, and I'm really worried about the weather. It's going to be so cold. We may have a bonfire on the patio and grill out and eat in. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I hope this weather warms up. So have a great day. Call me for questions. Hope you enjoyed their video, even though Waldo was the, the main attraction. We'll talk to you later.